Hi, I'm Pastor Clint from Wintersville United Methodist Church. About 10 years ago, our youngest son was learning to drive, and it was my turn to take him out that day. And so we, we live on a cul-de-sac, and the road is only a couple hundred feet long. And we uh, intersect, our road intersects with a state route. Well, we, we pulled out of our driveway, and we were going down the road. It's a uh, 20-mile-an-hour speed limit, and David was probably going about 15 miles per hour, and we're approaching uh, the end of the road, and, and there's a stop sign at the end of the road, and then we're getting closer to the stop sign, and he's still going 15 miles per hour, and, and we're getting really close to the stop sign, and he hadn't slowed down yet, so I, I grabbed his arm, and I yelled, stop, and we, we, we came to a stop, and he looked at me and said, what? And I said, Dave, it's a stop sign. You have to stop. And he said, Mom rolls through it all the time. And I said, she doesn't roll through it all the time, but she's been driving a lot longer than you. And then he said to me, now, Dad, I just want you to know that I know I'm right with the Lord, so I'm ready to die if it's my time. I'm, I'm not afraid to die. That's kind of a strange thing for a parent of a 16-year-old to hear. In one way, as a Christian parent, it makes you feel good that your son says he knows the Lord and he's ready to go when it's his time, but, uh, you know, don't want, it, don't want it to happen that way. And I said to him, well, we're not ready for you to go yet. And I said, Davy, the people you run into, they may not be ready to go yet. His mom did all the driving lessons after that. Many of you know that my mom was diagnosed with AML, acute myeloid leukemia, uh, at the end of last summer. And we're so thankful for all of your prayers and support and cards. It's really meant a lot to her, and it's, it's really meant a lot to our family. Many of you also know that my mom was so active before that. She was 77 years old when she was diagnosed, and just a month before her diagnosis, we had a family vacation where we were at Cedar Point one day, and she was riding all the roller coasters. We went whitewater rafting that week, and, and she did as well. And we also went to Kalahari, the water park, and she was uh, going on all the, the water rides as well. And then, and then this diagnosis happened a few weeks later, and, and her life, and really the life of our family, was turned upside down. In, in the process, over these last several months, we've had several meaningful conversations, conversations. And my mom has said more than once that she's not afraid to die, but she's not done living yet. Many of us can relate to that. She knows the Lord, and she knows the hope and promise of eternal life. She's not afraid to die, but she's not done living yet. The Apostle Paul shares a powerful perspective contrasting life and death in the book of Philippians, chapter 1, verses 20 through 24. The Apostle Paul writes, I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. If I am to go on living in the body, this will mean fruitful labor for me, yet what shall I choose? I don't know. I am torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is far better. But it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. In Christ, we do not need to be afraid of dying or living. For me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Our lives in Jesus, new life, abundant life, purpose in life, ultimate meaning in life, and when life on this earth is over, we have the promise of eternal life forever with the Lord, the most wonderful life of all. In Jesus, we do not need to be afraid of dying or living. Jesus said, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy but I came that you might have life and have it abundantly. Would you pray with me? Dear Lord, we thank you that you are the God of life, the God of eternal life, the God of abundant life, the God of new life. 
Lord, we thank you that through Christ, through his life, death, and resurrection, we do not need to be afraid of dying. Jesus, you said when you walk this earth, because I live, you will live also. Oh Lord, we thank you for that hope and that promise. And we will pray, O oh Lord, that not only will we not be afraid of dying, but that we will not be afraid of living. Living life to the fullest, living life for you and with you, sharing your love with others each and every day. No matter what's going on in the world around us, no matter what's going on in our own lives, Lord, help us to know, for us, to live as Christ and to die as gain. It's in his name we pray. Amen.